Police are promising to crack down on the recent surge of gang violence on Sydney streets. There are fears they're already losing the battle, though. Documents have been leaked in which a high-ranking officer says the police fight back is like swinging a pool noodle against gangs with guns. The boss of the Comancheros is still recovering in hospital after Tuesday's shooting. One of his associates was arrested last night while trying to visit him. As Omar's ahead, the brother of a senior Comanchero is laid to rest. Police are grappling with a spike in underworld activity and bloodshed that keeps spilling onto Sydney's streets. Omar was killed and his brother Tariq's ahead seriously wounded in a spray of bullets outside an Auburn gym on Tuesday night. Tarek is being guarded at Westmead Hospital, where one of his fellow gang members was arrested last night while trying to pay him a visit. We've got people behaving disgracefully, using violence and threats of violence towards healthcare workers. The man came on Wednesday and Thursday night and has been charged with stalking and intimidation after clashing with security. This fellow that was misbehaving last night has been detected, arrested and charged very quickly, which is good. Key figures within state government and police want more power to crack down on bikies. Today there were leaked reports in nine newspapers that Assistant Commissioner Stuart Smith told the state government officers were swinging a pool noodle at crime bosses with guns. Those reports also suggest former police minister David Elliott was sidelined after pushing for tougher reforms. Well, I can't walk back from the fact that as police minister, I'm on the record saying that we need to be very, very serious and tough on proceeds of crime, on unexplained wealth, uh, on money laundering. The Premier says those issues are being looked at by a Crime Commission inquiry into money laundering, but that's happening behind closed doors. What we need to do is wait for that inquiry to come back with its recommendation. With gang warfare in such public view, Waiting clearly isn't everyone's preference. Phoebe Bowden, ABC News, Sydney.